die for. Are these functional? Attitude enhancement. I can just hear her. What are these shoes saying about you, dear? I never thought about what my shoes were saying about me. Obviously. Looks like a spaceship. That's the concept. You should nail it there. $99? I should fly to the moon. If I had that much money, I wouldn't buy these. I'd buy this. A welder's mask? Why? I know how to weld. Besides, a mask would be a good start. Right. Attention, Earthlings. This is Zarkon. Seems a shame having to replace an entire popcorn machine when it was just that one little part. That popper was made the year I was born. Everything wears out eventually. Oh, I don't know. You're looking just fine. Everything but me. Hi, Auntie Andy. Oh, hi. Hi, Eric. How much? Seventy-five dollars. It's not a toy. I know how to weld. He has a mysterious past, and that is what I like about him. Could you put this aside for me? I'd like to buy it. Well, you'd have to put down a deposit. How much? Five dollars. Tell you what. Help me carry this across to the theater, and I'll give you five dollars. Really? Yeah. Great! Bye. Bye now. Do you have these in a seven? They don't come in women's. Got a men's seven? I think I have a pair of nines. Don't sell them. How are things going for you here? I like it sometimes. Starting to feel like home? No. You heard from your dad? He's in Rio de Janeiro. He sent me a postcard last week. Ah, Rio. I bet there's a lot of welding work in this town. I think welders have to go to special schools and get licenses. Oh. What's in this thing? It's new innards for my popcorn machine. I have uh, no idea how to assemble it. Any welding involved? How long has this place been closed? Oh, since uh, Antonio Garibaldi died uh, 20 years ago. Why'd you decide to reopen it? I mean, I think it's a good idea. Uh, maybe not a profitable one in this day of video, but I think a town needs a movie house. You used to come here? All the time. I spent some of my best moments right here, in the dark, staring up at those 20-foot movie star faces. So, how are you doing? That's it. That's it. The glow of the popcorn machine. One step inside that door, and you could feel the magic. We're going to make this place magic again. Just needs a little hard work. You're not afraid of hard work, are you? I guess not. No, you are a mover and a shaker. Is that good? Good. It's fabulous. You want to move things forward, shake things up. How'd you like to do some work around here? Sure. Uh, no welding, unfortunately. Come on. I guess Mr. Garibaldi felt that all of this junk might be worth something someday. I'll get Jimmy Hines with his truck. It can all go to the dump. Everything? Five bucks an hour. Deal. <laughs> With you. I got a job, a real job.
Hi, AJ. Is Eric working today? Follow me. cool stuff here. <laughs> Mr. Garibaldi tried to bring in live theater one summer. He tried to bring back vaudeville. Vaudeville? Um, you want me to throw out everything? Mm -hmm. If you find something you want, keep it. Otherwise, heave ho. Can you handle the popcorn machine tonight? Sure. I've got to spruce up the lobby. Our first job is to change people's perception of this place. Then we can really start moving and shaking. Exactly. What's bugging you? Your mother? She won't let you buy the boots with the chains. If you don't have a motorcycle, you don't need motorcycle boots. I already made $17. You want to help out tonight? Not especially. Grab the other end. here. We're rich. Somebody's rich. We found it, we get to keep it. I was helping, wasn't I? Half each. Ever had that much money? No, but imagine what you could do with it all. Think how long it would take to earn this much. Yeah, but it doesn't belong to us. You heard her. Keep whatever you want. I know, but I think if you find buried treasure, you don't go and ask every person that ever sailed by in a boat if they want it. If we'd found this on a beach, it'd be different. In here, that back door is always open. This money could have come from anywhere. Besides, whoever's it used to be, it wasn't Auntie Auntie's. She just bought the place. Yeah, but the box comes with the place. <sighs> okay. We'll leave it right where it was and think about it overnight. We'll meet here tomorrow and decide what to do with it. Nobody needs to know about this. Don't wimp on me. you a question? Not if it's a hard one. If you find something that's valuable, how do you know whether or not you should keep it? That depends. Like what? Uh, it's like a, a buried treasure. Uh, if you got it, keep it. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Are you sure? Yeah. Happens all the time. You know that old washing machine we have in the back? Lujic's coin laundry. He's throwing it out. He said it was a 20-year-old piece of junk. All it needs is this $4 belt from this outfit in Wisconsin, and then it'd be as good as new. So you see, one man's uh, junk is another man's... Um... Gold? Right. So does that answer your question? No. Good. Oh, what'd you find? I gotta go. Hey, hey, hey. I made, I made some special uh, fancy Italian dish for dinner. Spaghetti? Yeah. Auntie Auntie is expecting me at the theater by six. Well, she's working you pretty hard, huh? Yeah, I like it. You and Zoe are coming, aren't you? I don't know. Well, you gotta come. She's gonna change your perceptions. Ooh. 
about the theater. Bye.